okay here if each of the observations is increased by a where a is a negative or positive number show that the variance remains unchanged so here so before proving that the variance remains unchanged i'll first find out the variance of this i'll write down the exp expression for the variance of this set of observations so before that uh, if my observations are x1 x2 and so on till xn my mean will be summation xi from i is equal to 1 to n divided by n correct and what will be my variance my variance is equal to summation from i is equal to 1 to n xi minus x bar square divided by n correct this is my original variance now uh, if each of the observation is increased by a that is my new set of observations are yi is equal to xi plus a where a can be positive or negative so that means y1 is equal to x1 plus a y2 is equal to x2 plus a and so on up to yn is equal to xn plus a fine so now uh, what will be my new mean y bar will be equal to summation from i is equal to 1 to n y i by n correct so this is equal to summation from i is equal to 1 to n x i plus summation from i is equal to 1 to n a by n because y i is equal to x i plus a i can split it as the sum of these two uh, sets sorry sum of these two numbers so this is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n x i by n plus n a by n right uh, so this is my same as x bar so this is equal to x bar plus a so i got my y bar is equal to x bar plus a similarly if i call it as my sigma x what will be my new variance new variance will be summation from i is equal to 1 to n y i minus y bar whole square divided by sorry divided by n this is what is the expression for sigma y square right so if i put y i is equal to x i plus a and that is this expression and i substitute this expression then what will i get this is equal to summation from i is equal to 1 to n uh, x i plus a minus x bar plus a whole square divided by n right this is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n uh, x i minus x bar square by n correct because a minus a will become cancelled so this is equal to sigma x square therefore we can see that if each of the observation is increased by a then the mean gets increased by a but the variance remains unchanged